Uh, when will he be in? Uh, he and Nora Buchanan are out of town. Um, can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, Gigi had some problems with these thugs at Rody's last night. I'm afraid that yeah, we I, don't... Yeah, I know about them. You do? In fact, I was gonna call Gigi to get a statement. You were? Yeah, we, uh, have three men under arrest. Already? They assaulted Nick Chavez in the alley behind Rody's last night, and he's in the hospital. Nick, the, the one at the bar, the one that they were bothering. Yeah, after you threw them out, they, they waited for him, and they, they really did a number on him. Is he going to be all right? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, but I just I wanted to get a statement from the two of you. Uh, uh, I wasn't there. No, no Gigi and, and Skyler. Nick said that the two of you took these guys on. We tried to calm it down. I guess that didn't work. Do you have Skyler's cell number? Sure. Uh, could you get him down here? I kind of want to interview you two together. Hey. Hey. Hey, Skyler, thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. So, Gigi said those Neanderthals at the bar beat up that guy. Yeah, Nick Chavez. He's still in the hospital. So it, it was a hate crime. Well, why would you say that? Well, because that's what it was about. They were hassling Nick and his friend because they were gay. And they were talking trash, you know, like, oh, oh when did roadies become a gay bar? And then they went after Gigi. Look at his face. He was protecting me. So they hit you? Yeah, sucker punch. And then, like I said, they went after Gigi. Although she you know, threw right back at him. It was nothing. I just I didn't like the way they were looking at her. And so Skylar came over and told the creeps to get out. And they acted like they were going. And next thing I knew, uh, I was on the floor. But well, did you hear them say anything else or do anything threatening? Uh, nope. No. I was taking care of Skylar. I didn't. <sighs> Wait. When they first got up after Thing One hit Skylar, uh, one of them said to Nick, "You're next." And would you recognize this guy again? Oh yeah. <sighs> okay, great. Let's get this into a statement. Let me open up the file. Jeez, I gotta go. No. Stacy has a doctor's appointment. I promised I'd take her. Okay. I'll see you later. Next looks ticked. You both for your statements. We may need you to come back in for a lineup. Are you both willing? Sure. Yeah, anytime. Are you charging those guys with a hate crime? Well, that's what it was. That's a stiffer penalty, right? More jail time? Absolutely. Uh, listen, we'll, we'll be in touch. Thank you guys again. Yeah, no problem. What about some chicken soup? I don't need anything else. They're letting me out of here today, remember? Uh, I don't know, but I've been so busy getting Dorian out of jail that I haven't had a chance to spoil you. It's okay. Cal's been here ever since that night. Just doing my job, Nick. Speaking of, maybe I can help speed up your uh, release. Uh, see? It pays to have friends in high places. <laughs> you got somebody to come take care of you at home, right? My aunts. And uh -huh. don't worry. She makes excellent sopa de pollo. All right, well, now that all left is to spring you. Oh, honey, you got it bad for him, don't you? You looked like you could use this. Oh, uh, wow, thank you. It's been a long day. You want to sit down? The couches in the waiting room are more comfortable. Uh, you know, I can't. I still got another hour on my shift. So, are you seeing anyone? Um, actually, yeah, I, I am. I'm sorry. Figures. <laughs> Oliver? I was just thinking about you. Uh, what are you doing here? Guarding Mitch Lawrence? Uh, keep him from escaping or make sure nobody finishes him off? How's Nick? He's good. His aunt's coming to take him home. That, that's great. Yeah, it's nice of you to worry. It's for selfish reasons. You've been here with Nick. I've been busy with Lawrence. I missed you. I've missed you too. You know, we never actually had our first date. Yeah, it'd be a, a shame to waste Roxy's present, wouldn't it? You kept those? Yeah, so we can pick up right where we left off. Look, I tried to get over Kyle. Oh, yeah, I see how well that's working out. Huh? Like, you don't understand. He, he's been here for me, and he's been great ever since that night. Visiting me, taking care of Nick, me. Nick, Nick, listen to me. You have to get over him. Like you got over your ex? 
Call me whenever you need me. What I need is, is to get over Kyle. That's what you told me. <laughs> what do I know? You helped me. How? You hooked me up with Dory. And that made things better? You still love her, don't you? I gotta go. Wait. It's okay, Tia Celia. No, it's... Listen, if you're sick, you're sick. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'll, uh... I'll get somebody else to take care of me. So what are you doing for Christmas? Um, actually, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> you, the, the guy that owns what, is it two reindeer sweaters? <laughs> my mom gave those to me. But, you know, seeing as how my mom and dad didn't call me back on Thanksgiving, I, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it'll be my first Christmas without them. I used to spend uh, my Christmases with my sister Rebecca. She taught you how to make paper garlands. Do you remember everything? I mean, it sounded like fun. It, it definitely was. You, uh, I could teach you if you want to come over. Yeah, I would. I, sh I should get the next paperwork. Right. Uh, doctor's work's never finished. There's the cops. Well, uh, my shift is over in a half an hour. What do you say? Cafeteria on me? I'll be waiting. Hey, is your aunt on the way? Uh, actually, she's sick. But it's okay, I don't really need somebody to help me. Oh, are you kidding me? You, you, you can't even feed yourself. Yes, I can. Okay, even if you could, the hospital won't release you by yourself. And what if I don't have any family nearby? Um, what, what about Amelia? Amelia? Yeah, she's got that huge house. That's Dorian's house. They're married, aren't they? Mikasa, Sukasa. Besides, you did help Dorian get elected, right? You're right. I did. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Amelia. It's Nick. I need a favor. Amelia, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. Thanks anyway. Dr. Horton won't let you stay? Yeah, something about not having enough room. Oh, wow, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Look, it's no big deal. I'll just hire an aide. Ah, uh, Nick, you can't afford an aide. What, will my insurance pay for it? Why don't you, um... Why don't, why don't you stay with me? No. I couldn't ask you to do that. You're, you're not asking. Yeah, well, Oliver wouldn't like it. He'll, he'll understand. Trust me, Oliver will be fine with it. Hey. Hey, you're early. Well, I figured with Lawrence it couldn't hurt. It's been pretty quiet. John's in there with him now. All right. What are we standing around John for? Time for you to get home. No argument here. All right. Hey there, handsome. Hey. You ready to hit the cafeteria? I, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't. What, why not? Nick's aunt is sick, so she's not coming to take care of him. So? So, uh, I, I kind of have to. Uh, there's nobody else? No, Nick Nick doesn't have a lot of family in the area. Okay, okay what about Amelia? Uh, he, he tried her, but it just it, it didn't work out. Why? Wow. <sighs> Nick will be ready before you know it. Yeah. I know he needs help. I just wish that someone else could give it to him. Yeah, but don't worry. We'll we'll find some time together. Yeah, but you're not making him breakfast in bed. <laughs> I don't make breakfast. But he'll be in your bed. Okay, well, then maybe I'll be in yours. <laughs> and you never know. I mean, if your roommates go away for the holidays, maybe we'll just get to spend all our free time there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>